ora and welcome to Wellington in New Zealand. It's New Year's Day, Happy New Year. Um, it's the 1st of January 2018 and we're celebrating the new year. I had a wonderful party last night on the ship and then now today we're going out into Wellington uh, to check out the city and see what things are there and what things are open as well. It's a beautiful sunny day, it's about 72 degrees. Um, so let's check out Wellington. Alright, so we're taking the Wellington cable car up um, to the top of the hill to check out the Botanic Gardens and this is what it looks like. It's New Year's Day today, it's still open, it only closes on Christmas Day. Uh, it's very good value, it's $7.50 for a return trip or $4 for just one way. And uh, we heard from people that work here that basically you go up, you can walk around the gardens and you see a lot of the gardens as you walk down. So we've just got a one-way ticket and we're going to go check out the gardens and walk down and see what's up there and see a lovely view of the city. And this is the cable car. So we're just taking the cable car up and here we are at the top of the mountain. Now when you come out of the cable car, um, just come out and to your right and you're at the first viewing platform where you get a beautiful view of the whole city of Wellington. Um, and also just out to the right, right before the viewing platform, we've got a 3D map showing you all the main sites around um, the, the mountain here in the gardens. We just came off of the cable car terminus, we've got the cable car museum here, um, there's the observatory right in the middle, and there's a walk that goes all the way around the botanic gardens, and this takes you all the way around here and all the way back down uh, to Lambton Quay, where we got on the cable car at the bottom as well. And right beside the map and the viewing platform, over to the right here, uh, we've got the entrance near the cable car. This is where you can pick up maps. So make sure to come over and grab a map and that shows you everything around the garden. Stop. And then right here you've got the map of the, the botanic garden. It shows you where everything is and get acquainted. And you can get the same map from right here. And so you can find your way around and make sure you see all the major sites. So we're going to have a look inside the cable car museum. Okay. It is. That sounds like you. You're over now the cable years car old. has been going for 115 years so far. Uh, this is 1902, and this is what the original car looked like. It's a little different nowadays, but not too much. Um, it's all preserved, and inside here you've also got a gift shop where you can buy souvenirs, postcards, magnets, all that good stuff. Now as you come into the cable car museum, we've got um, a small cable car at the shop and then through here there is a video running on a loop which tells you all about the history of the cable car, how it was built and all the importance and there's also a whole bunch of leaflets right nearby, some more exhibits and also downstairs there's the historic winding room. Now downstairs in the cable car museum we've got another um, original cable car you can have a look at to show how it was made and also they have an area where you can try on like, some old fashioned clothes from the early 1900s when the cable car started and then there's the winding room and this is the winding room and it's showing how the whole system works and how you wind the cables up the hill from this point Here. And to the left of the cable car museum and the cable car, we've got um, another lookout point. This one here and a further one there, where you see more of the beautiful view of Wellington City. And some lovely trees as well. And right behind us, we've got a little coffee shop, and there's also a Victorian perfumery inside as well. Now, in the coffee shop, um, right by the gift car, they have nice things like this. Some very nice looking carrot cake, snacks, uh, cold drinks, coffee, and milkshakes. So this is a cafe at the top of the hill. We've got a mocha on the way. It's very cute here. And inside as well, they have the Victorian perfumery, which is right next door. You can learn all about how perfume was made in the Victorian ages, which are Victorian era, sorry. Uh, some examples. You 
can smell lots of different perfumes, learn about different fragrances, different roots of scent. And it's a very nice place to visit. And it smells lovely. And uh, as you're going around, you can smell some of the different scents. So you know what they all smell like. And they even have one called Mrs. It smells lovely. So we've got a mochaccino here in the coffee shop at the top of the hill in Porio. You get um, shadows. We've got a to-go cup only because we're going to take it to walk around the gardens. Mm, I can confirm it is very nice coffee indeed. And this is the view. Also up at the top of the hill, we have the space place, which is Carter Observatory. It's right here, and you can go and learn a lot about space, and travel the southern skies, and there's um, a lot of information here um, about the skies, and it's a really interesting place to learn about space, lots of interactive exhibits as well. Um, so we're inside the planetarium now, and they have a schedule of everything that's going on. And there's lots of different shows that are on um, during the public school holiday. And yeah, right. so um, all these different things are going to be coming on. The next one's the Matsakiri at dawn. Um, the shows last about 45 minutes, and you see the night sky projected up on the ceiling. Um, so that's the main show. And then also there's um, exhibits around, which take about half an hour to explore. And you can check out the universe from here. And it's $12.50 New Zealand for adults, um, or $10 for students, and eight for children. And they also have family tickets, and they have shows on throughout the day. Now, as you walk around the gardens, there's lots to see. Uh, right after the observatory, we've got the Australian garden here, uh, which heads in there, and it's got a lot of traditional uh, Australian plants. And if you're heading down the hill back towards the city, you just head down the way and follow the paths with these markers right here. And it's absolutely beautiful here. It's peaceful right in the center of the city. Above it all, lots of gorgeous flowers and plants. After the Australian garden, we've got the children's play area down here. So if you're here with families or little ones, then it's a nice place to stop. Now a little further around, just follow the path, you come to the Discovery Garden, um, which is meant for kids, but also big kids of all ages. Uh, it looks lots of fun, we don't really have time to explore it all today, um, but it looks worth a look as well. After the tree house, we've got the Fragrant Garden, which is fragrant, and it smells amazing. Now, once you get here, if you need to get out quickly, we've got the Glen Street exit right here, which you can cut straight down back to the main road um, and where the shuttle bus stops. But if you've got time, keep on going along to the Rose Garden. And right here, we've got Gardens Magic and they have concerts throughout the summer here. So check out um, the leaflet, um, which is gonna be on my website as well, showing you um, all the different events that they have throughout the summer right here. Now we come up to the Herb Garden at the top of the hill, up by Druid Hill. Here's the Herb Garden. It smells delicious. And right underneath us is where we're heading now, down to Lady Norwood's Rose Garden, which looks very lovely. And you get a great view around the city from here. And now we're going into Lady Norwood's Rose Garden, which is what I've been looking forward to. It smells absolutely Gorgeous. I wish there was smell of vision. We could bottle this. It's beautiful. And there's over 300 different types of roses here. And this is Lady Norwood, um, who used to be the, the Norwoods were the owners of the gardens. This is why it's her garden. This is where she likes to tend her roses and come for a stroll. And you can see why, because it's really beautiful. And over here, we've got the begonia house and shop. It's full of begonias, funnily enough and a lovely coffee shop and a little gift shop as well. And they even have a convenient picnic area outside where you can either go to the coffee shop or you can go there and bring your own picnic and sit and enjoy it right by the flowers. While you're in the garden, so take a little time to stop and smell the roses. <sighs> they smell amazing.
And next up, you'll come along to um, Bolton Street Cemetery, historic Wellington burial ground. And this has got people from Wellington buried here from 1840 to 1892. You get some information on the way in. And also there's memorial trail leaflets you can pick up, which will be on the website, um, that you can get some information from. The cemetery is very beautiful, very pretty final resting place. Uh, for different people, from important people from around Mellington. Also in the leaflet, uh, this is the Memorial Trail at Bolton Street Cemetery and it gives you a lot of information about a lot of the most uh, famous and important residents of Wellington that were buried here. Um, so you can learn a lot about the area and about the important people here while admiring the beauty. Right after the cemetery, you come across the bridge which takes you back into the real world and the modern day. Across the motorway and this takes you back down into the city. So you can take the cable car back down um, or you can walk down through the gardens. I recommend doing that as it's absolutely beautiful. You don't want to walk all the way back up just to come down when you can see a lot more by walking down. And you get a real feel for Wellington past and present. And at the other side of the bridge and the motorway, there's still part of the old part of the cemetery. And you can smell the trees here, the, the pine trees here. It smells just amazing. It smells very green. It's a beautiful, beautiful park to have right um, by the centre of the city. So definitely take time out to come and see it if you have Now, right after the cemetery, take the turning to the right. There's a Bolton Street exit to the left, um, but that takes you further away. If you have time and you want to wander, you can do that. But head to the right to come back down to where the shuttle bus is. Now as you come down into the first part of the city, this is where all the main government buildings are. Right here we've got the education building where the main education centre for New Zealand government is. Straight across the road we've got the Beehive which is the centre of parliament and we've got other parliament buildings around here as well and we're also very close to the university. And there's also the Bank of New Zealand and its museum right next to it and that's right across the street from the Beehive. Also, as you walk around the city, there's lots of banks. We've got ANZ Bank, we've got Kiwi Bank. Um, and so normally they're open and you can um, exchange money here. Also, they've got Western Unions as well as money exchange. Um, but even on New Year's Day, like today, um, the cash machines are open and there's a lot of them. There's BNZ and this is all on Lambton Quay. Uh, they're all around the city, but there's a lot, high concentration here in the main central business district. And this is exactly where you get off the um, the shuttle bus as well and so it's just along plenty places to money gram home or to do exchange as well as souvenirs so we're back in the port again um, it's about 10-15 minute uh, shuttle ride from town it's free to get in and out but you do have to take the shuttle you can't walk in and out of the port um, we're back here um, this is the terminal um, you can pay two dollars for 15 minutes of internet here if you need to check anything and they've got a little information booth there uh, with some info so that's it from wellington in new zealand today on new year's day um, we had a lovely day in the botanic gardens um, walking all around that checking out the museums there the flowers the rose garden and a little bit of the city center um, so see you next time uh, kia ora and happy new year from new zealand